welcome to Capital Jeep on this snowy and cold day here in Edmonton. My name is Dee and today we're going to be taking a walk around this 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo Edition. Comes in this beautiful granite color. Under the hood you have a fuel efficient yet powerful 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine. On the front here we have daytime running lights and fog lights. We have some chrome accents there on the grill. Coming on down the side here there's chrome roof rails up the top. Chrome moldings around the windows. The back windows are tinted for privacy. Have a look around here. There's really, really great winter tires on there. Very aggressive. And they are mounted on top of a brushed aluminum rim. And that's a 17 inch rim. So this Grand Cherokee was locally owned by one owner. Clean car proof reports in really great shape. So this is a little bit of the outside. Come with me and we'll have a look at the inside. Helping us into the Grand Cherokee is the key fob here. There is a lock on lock and panic button. This Grand Cherokee does have proximity key, so that's great. You can leave your key fob in your pocket or in your bag and it will still unlock the car for you. Have a bit of a look around and we'll get into some of the details. So there is cloth seating for five passengers. The front driver's seat has a full power uh, seat adjustment. Here we have your power mirrors, windows and locks with the child safety lock right there. There's some storage down here, room for a water bottle. Having a look at the headlight settings here, there is automatic headlights, which is really great. You can just turn them on and forget about it. The Grand Cherokee will turn their headlights on when it senses it's getting dark out. So this is also a push button start. So we're just gonna put the key down, foot on the brake. Starts right up super easy. So you can also leave that in your bag or anything like that. You don't have to have it close. Okay. We have 47,701 kilometers on this Grand Cherokee. Coming on down here, this is your Uconnect with Bluetooth, allowing you to keep your hands on the wheel while you're taking or placing a call. On the back of the steering wheel here, on this side, and as well as this side, there is the paddle shifters, which is a great feature. Over here, we have your cruise control. And on the back of the steering wheel here, just let me Right this up. There is stereo control. So the right hand side controls the volume, the left hand side controls what station you're on. And there is a full touch screen display here. I need to take my glove off, just one sec. So we can show you. So there's AM FM Sirius satellite radio right here. Your media settings. Obviously no devices plugged in right now, but you do have access to UBS, auxiliary port, and all of that great stuff. There's an SD card slot as well. No phones connected at this time, but you can access your Bluetooth through here. We have a compass. You can also do your climate control through here or the traditional way down here, which I'll show you in just a second. So there is dual zone climate control. So we'll just press that and you can drag these. So the pasture can be colder, warmer, super easy just to navigate all of that. Outside temperature display in your clock and into your settings so you can change it how you like it. Coming on down here, we have the dual zone can be controlled here as well, like I was saying. You have your air conditioning, front and rear defrost, your eco button, traction control button right there. There's some storage in here, nice and deep. There is also, it's kind of hard to see, there is a 12 volt port there. This is where your SD card slot goes, your UBS, and your auxiliary cable. And you can tuck it all away. If you have an iPod or anything like that, it'll be all under there safe, out of the way. Two cup holders here, your shifter. Here we have a little bit of storage in the armrest here. There's even more storage, so there's a shallower one up top. And then down here we have another 12 volt plug in right underneath in there. Nice and deep for storing things you might want to keep in your vehicle. Up top here we have a sunglass holder and then your light buttons right there. We have a locking glove box. It's nice and deep. Let me brighten that up nice and deep for you to store different things in there nice and secure with the lock so this is the front seat of this Grand Cherokee come with me and I'll show you the back coming on into the back seat here doors open up nice and wide this is a 60 40 split bench seat with all the child safety locks and anchors that you may need coming on down here in the door there's room for a water bottle your power window right there on the backs of both the seats there's a mat pocket here great for a little bit of extra storage 
you have your back heater. It's really bright. Ah, sorry about that. Your back heater vents right there, and they are movable. So they're in the center here is an armrest with two cup holders. So it's really easy to flip the seat down. There is the lever right here. We're just gonna pull up on it. Practically folds down by itself. And then this is where your car seat anchors are. So that maximizes your storage. I'm just gonna. Sorry about that. Just gonna push that down a little flat so you can see the maximized cargo space and how easy it was. Have a look around back here. Up top there is a spoiler. It's in great shape. 4x4 four four. Laredo badge over there. Open up the back hatch here. Have a look inside. So over here there's a nice little well for storing things so they don't roll all over everywhere. Right here is a flashlight. It's always there if you need it. You don't have to get your phone out or anything. It's already installed. Another well here. Another 12 volt charging port right here. And simply lift up on this in your full size spare tire with the jack and a funnel if you need to put fuel in. There's cubbies on this side and as well on this side keeping things just all from rolling around in the back nice and safe and secure. Put your booster cables in there, first aid kit, whatever you need to put in there. Come on down this side here. No dings, dents, or scratches that I can see. This is very well maintained. The door here, water bottle again on this side. We'll show you one more time how to flip that down. So just oops, lift up on that, push it down, and that maximizes your cargo space. Super easy to do. Coming up to the front seat here, a little bigger storage up on the passenger seat here. We have power locks and mirrors on this side as well. One last look at the interior of this Grand Cherokee. Thank you so much for walking around this 2014. Grand Cherokee Laredo with me. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to click or call capitalgeep.com.